Mint Mobile. Our fellow Canadian, Mr. Ryan Reynolds, Making has that big money. has caused no small amount <laughs> of controversy by investing in, then promoting Mint Mobile as like a, a middle finger to the big carriers. And then selling to a big bringing carrier. Bringing a whole bunch of customers over on the basis of a better experience than the big carriers, and then promptly... But, I mean, hey, he got $300 million for it. Yeah. Let's go. Um, the actual what? sale was, like, way more than that, but uh, based on his percentages or whatever, people uh, expect that he made over $300 million. They don't know exactly how much. So, T-Mobile, second largest mobile provider in the U.S., is acquiring their direct competitor, Mint Mobile, as a subsidiary. Uh, many of Mint's current customers have responded to the news with disappointment, as they chose Mint as a cheap responsive alternative to massive telecommunications conglomerates like T-Mobile. T-Mobile states it has no intention of changing Mint's current $15 a month plan and that for now it's business as usual at Mint. Can I just point something out really quick here? Watch me, okay? Watch me. <clears throat> I have no intention of charging for access to data from the labs. For now, it's business as usual at LTT. What have I said? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> that statement means nothing. It means literally nothing. <laughs> it means that... It, I, I, even assuming I'm honest. Okay, so on the one hand, I could be a big liar and I... And fully have intentions, have plans already underway. And, and, and I have plausible, plausible deniability up the butt now because you can never prove... What my intentions were. Yeah, tie in and Slack. No intention. Cool, cool. How long <laughs> cool, is cool, cool. for now? For now is literally just Nothing. now. <laughs> and now it is no longer now. Already. That's how you say it, it's over. Yeah. It's already not now. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's now. But now it's not now anymore. So um, I could very well have... Um, paid access to labs data. It could be all of it. It could be some of it. It could be not now, but it could be now. Ah, just... <laughs> uh, Mint's largest single stakeholder, Ryan Reynolds, was heavily involved in Mint Mobile's direction since 2019 and will be staying on in a creative capacity. Yeah, that's usually part of the deal. Actually, I had some people speculating about what exactly that... Remember the, the nine-figure deal that I talked about? Um... I will say this, not as good as his deal. Um, definitely, definitely smaller than Ryan Reynolds, um, which is fine. I'm, I'm comfortable with that. He's more attractive, smarter, more talented. Yeah, it's okay. I'm, I'm comfortable with it. Uh, the point is that um, my wife wants... No, no, no. Sorry, I'm sorry. Did, wait, did I say that out loud? Okay, it doesn't matter. The point is... Um, what was I saying? I've been distracted. <laughs> You're uh, distracted created. by how right, attractive yes. he is. So a few people asked me, yeah, a few people asked me, well, it's not the attractiveness, it's the charm. <laughs> it's the charm. He's oh, so yeah, charming. Sorry, he wooed you, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, I, he could... I, are you... A, wait, are you a Mint Mobile customer now? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I feel like if I'm not, I'm missing out. <laughs> Um, some people asked about the, the offer that we got, and mm. the answer is yes, of course. It is pretty typical for founders or key, key person, like uh, having like a key person clause of some sort. It's typical for there to be some period of time where you're required to, to stay on, and the, 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 the level of involvement that you have can vary a little bit, but very often uh, you would have to not just stay on, as a as a drone, just keeping the same title, but sleeping at your desk, but stay on in a in a functional capacity with strong incentives to to perform at or above the current level. Otherwise, it could impact that overall payout. And Potentially of course, like vesting style incentives. Yeah, and stuff. of course, there was a deal like that, and I'm sure that Mr. Reynolds has a has a similar deal. Um, he tweeted, "I only want the best for Mint Mobile customers. Think I've found it." <sighs> I think he's going to hurt his brand here because that's also a super insincere statement. He does seem like one of those people that like the target is uh, the moon and the stars and the far beyond in regards to what he wants financially. Um, but 
uh, if he ruined his brand, he ruined it for $300 million. So, like, maybe he doesn't care? I don't know. Depends what his, like, financial goals are, right? Because if it is just, I want everything as much as I can possibly get, then, yeah, that could hurt him long term. Um, yeah. But if it isn't, it's $300 million. It's a pretty big bag. It's like yeah. it's like super yacht money, you it's know? It's a pretty massive bag. Yeah. It's like, who are you trying to impress? You're already married to Blake Lively. And ultra rich already. <laughs> like, did you, I don't know. I don't know. I think probably. I always find of, it very sus when people are like, I think this is the best. For you. And don't say why. Yeah, because Mint Mobile customers already decided what they thought was best. Yeah. What they thought was best was trusting Mint Mobile with Ryan Reynolds' involvement. That's what they thought was best. So you're basically saying it's not it's it's not you it's me you know his brand is Deadpool and this is a total Deadpool move if you think about it I don't what? think it is no what are you even talking about no his his brand is extremely wholesome like outside of the characters that he plays on TV like you got to be kidding he's me. the like super wholesome troll yeah um, generational wealth for his kids bruh. Oh, that's Bruh. that's more than generational I was wealth. Say, I mean, you're so far beyond it at let's, that point. Let's do let's do some quick math here. Quick math, math I've never done before because it's never crossed my mind. Once you start getting into hundreds of millions, let's take a hundred million dollars for example, just an arbitrary number, and let's multiply it by <laughs> 0. 0.1, 0. 0.01, Okay, so assuming you basically put it in like a savings account. All right. I think that's even worse than that. Yeah. But like, you put it in the crappiest savings account. You put it in a suitcase under your bed and randomly stuffed a couple bills in one day. Uh, no, well, no, th I'm talking interest. Yeah, but zero one? Zero point zero one? One percent. No, no, one percent. Oh, okay. Point zero one. Okay, okay. Okay. You put it in a savings account. Yeah, you keep saying point zero. Oh, I'm being really dumb. You did. All great. right. Yeah. High five. Thanks, man. Keep going. Um, <laughs> you would make a million dollars a year. <laughs> Yeah. Just, just having that kind of money sitting in a savings account. Did I mention that he's still working? Like he. Quite a bit. Yeah. So I. Um, and he has other stuff going on. This yeah. isn't his only company. He has. Uh, well, there's the whiskey one. Uh, aviation gin. I think it's gin. Yeah. Yeah. There's the. Yeah. Oh, there's gin. Sorry. Gin. And then he also has some. I honestly don't know what the difference between those are. <laughs> Whiskey and gin? Yeah. I, I don't know. I have no idea what gin is. I think at a certain point, there's like so much alcohol in it that it's more to do with just the purity of it. Okay. I honestly I have no idea. I, I'm we a, are the last people to talk to about absolute, this. Absolute, absolute morons when it comes to alcohol. We know nothing. I mean, if you if you want to know about, you know, how to leverage chicken, for example, for social advantages, he's your guy. <laughs> But when it comes to alcohol, we're just not, not, not familiar with the tool set. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah, and then I think he owns some, like, I don't know if it's soccer or what, but some sports team somewhere. Yeah. Uh, and then I think he owns some other stuff as well. Okay, so, like, apparently he sold the gin company for over 600 mil. Jeez. So you like... Man, that's wild, hey? Some people just don't have a point. I mean... Yeah, see, the funny thing for me is, like, if the motivation is just to take these, like, in some cases, struggling brands. Like, my understanding is the gin company was, like, really struggling. Turn them around, like, build something awesome. Why not have it just keep being yeah. awesome? Yeah. The only reason to cash out is money. Yeah. Like, I can, like, I can tell you now, because having gone through this process recently, there was, unless I was lying to myself, there was no... There was no justification for taking the deal other than money. Like, I could tell myself, okay, with a larger ownership well, group, there could be a benefit. Um, there could be a benefit to uh, our, our operations. We could streamline our operations because uh, certain things could be just handled by handled by on who the, owners are. the bigger group. Well, that's the thing is you're, you're losing control of that. Um, but I, I could I could tell myself that though, 
You know, like, oh, maybe right. we don't have to yeah. do our own accounting anymore. Maybe that can all be consolidated. Right. And that would be more efficient because maybe you've got all these different you know, media companies that are operating under, the, under this one team that has a much smoother way of doing that. Um, but realistically, you would also, at the same time, be giving up a lot of the flexibility that you have. You know, what if that team just doesn't, just simply doesn't feel like dealing with the paperwork of selling LTT store merch to Europe? They sit there and they, you know, in a very business-like way, go, well, it makes up X percentage of the business and costs Y percentage more time, um, Y being the key. Why? No, forget it, right? So you might end up with a very different answer that could alienate your... Uh, you know, your longtime viewers or, or customers, and and it could ultimately hurt you, but that's how you end up with, like, really short-term decision-making, I think, if you, if you have people working on things that are too far removed from them. Um, so I could have told myself stuff like that, but at the end of the day, I just don't think it's true. If you actually want what's best... I think the the only positive that we were really identifying was, like, if you if if you needed to get out... And you kind of decided, nah. And now we're here. So uh, congratulations to Mr. Reynolds. I mean, realistically, I think other than the handful of uh, Mint Mobile customers who are upset about it, I, I doubt he's had much impact on his brand. Um, he's certainly no less sexy, so... <laughs> I'm so fine aging like fine gin or wine or whatever, or whatever. Yeah. somebody's mad at me because they're like they're different they're distilled from different things i don't i'm sorry I yeah for sure i don't but, care. i don't know cool <laughs> that's awesome nice <laughs> <laughs> love it 